Hello to all the students. Best of luck to all of you. You all have really worked very well and you have put all your efforts. So trust yourself, have faith in yourself and all of you will do really well. Now at this point of time, this is very natural that you may feel a bit nervous. There may be negative thoughts which may be coming in your mind. So what you have to do actually is that keep yourself away from all this negativity. Keep yourself away from the negative talks. Avoid the group discussions. Feel the confidence in yourself. Be cool. Be calm. And take my words that you will do it. You will pass the exam and you will clear the exam. My best wishes are always with you. So best of luck. All the best to all my beloved students for the upcoming FMGE. You have already worked hard and given a lot of efforts. Don't take stress at the last moment. By the grace of God, you will come out with a nice result. My best wishes to all the young budding doctors. Hello, Vita. Hope you all are fine now. The day has finally come, Vita. We are having the exam on 18th June. I'm pretty sure that all of you are very much well prepared at the 11th hour. Please try to go through your notes that you all have taken down very much sincerely during the classes. At this time, it is needless to say that you cannot go through any more new content now. We have already arrived at the time. So please try to go through the notes that you have gone through. Try to go through the one-liner quickly and also try to focus on the image-based question. The five years long journey that you all have done in a different country, the efforts since the time you landed in a different country, in a foreign country, all of you had dreamed of only coming back to India and serve this, the humanity as a successful registered medical practitioner. You are almost at the position of your life where you can finally contribute meaningfully to the society. You have just only one checkpoint ahead of you, Peter, at this point, that is your exam. Keep calm whenever you are facing the exam. Go with a positive attitude. One day before the exam, try to have a good sleep so that you'll be fresh. Try to wake up early in the morning and reach the exam hall or the exam place at least one hour before the dedicated time or the time allotted to you. You might know that there is a lockdown going on across India. So some transport difficulties you guys might face. So you should be very much well prepared for those circumstances and you must reach the exam hall as early as possible. Now coming to the exam beta, stay calm. You guys have already done the hard work since the last five months. I'm pretty sure that all of you are very much confident at this point of time. It is just that during the exam hall, during the exam theater, whenever you are sitting in front of that computer screen, you need to be calm, be composed, and do not do silly mistakes. Some of you might have faced this exam in the past. A very sincere request to all of them, Beta. Please try to read the question carefully. Pay attention to the questions that are asked all of the following except or if they have asked which of the following is not. This sort of questions usually the students tend to fall for the silly mistakes. Kindly make one promise today that in the upcoming exam of 18th June, you are not going to commit any silly mistake as of now. So please try to remember this and go with a positive attitude in the exam theater. That is very, very important. See, we all know that there will be some 20 to 30 percent of the questions that will be completely new, which you might not have studied during the classes or the faculties also wouldn't have taught you. No need to bother. Even if you face a series of unknown questions better, we have 300 questions. Even if you cannot solve the first 10 question that does not mean that you cannot solve the remaining two lines. I told you also this thing during the classes that even if you face a series of unknown questions, just try to look at it and smile and move on. That is the best solution what you can do. If you don't know that, 
no need to waste time on that so please try to identify those things and whenever you are facing a long liner questions particularly in the form of long clinical vignette my suggestion to you will be if you have gone through the medicine and if your concept is very much clear you can attempt those clinical vignette in the first go itself no problem in that but if you feel that by reading all those long liner questions you are wasting your time my suggestion to you will be if you cannot solve it in the first go just try to tag the question better there is an option to tag the question and you move on and please try to reach the 150th question in part 1 as well as part 2 by 135 minute so that you can have some 15 minutes buffer time this 15 minute buffer time is very very important in order to come back to those questions which you could not solve in the first go so that you have some buffer time at the end something might go wrong so you have some buffer time so those one liners which you just know read the question carefully again do not jump into the options straight forward try to look at the question what they have asked pay attention to that and then you mark the answer correctly and then you move to the next one one liner question try to solve it in 35 to 40 second bracket so that for the long liners you have some more time as a buffer time so that you can come back to this and you can solve calmly and mark it please try to remember one more thing beta in both the papers i need you all to mark all the questions even if you don't know i told you rule of thumb in fmg please mark the answer as d and come out if you don't know anything you can't solve smile at it and you mark the answer as d last but not the least beta please try to remember whatever our mind whatever our brain is telling that this might be the answer in the first go please choose that answer and do not ever please try to promise me this thing that do not come back and change your answer in the first go if you have marked the particular question answer as c do not change it to d later on when you are going through a quick recap during the last 15 minutes time so these are the points from my side what i want you to say be positive and definitely success will be yours take a good nap before the exam and try to go through the notes at this particular point if you have some extra time you can follow also the image based questions because those are coming in huge number nowadays and also try to go through the one liner quickly from your notes that should be all from my side wish you very very best for the upcoming exam on 18th of june i'm pretty sure that all of you are going to come out with flying colors thank you and wish you all the best guys are you ready the day which we waiting for so long 18th of june finally it is coming and believe me it's going to change everything it's going to give you the credit you really deserve from last 5 6 years your hard work of last 5 6 years your dedication of last 6 months i'm sure you're going to come out with flying colors i have no doubt we at mist we have full 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 confidence in your capabilities and your abilities and we wish you good luck from our bottom of the hearts just remember one thing that there might be some questions in the exam which you have no idea about whatsoever just do not worry about those questions have a belief in your hard work have belief in what you have studied and i am telling you there will be more than enough questions in the exam which you can solve easily and you can pass this exam on 18th of june may god be with you may all the positive forces be with you in the on in the examination hall and we are waiting for you people after your results don't forget us we are waiting to celebrate your success with you for you god bless you all be positive my dear students i want to say all the very best for your exam you people have really worked very hard in last 6 month now it is a time to you to perform i just want to say please be confident stay calm during your exam it's not about the knowledge it's all about your confidence and a 
uh, command over the subject go and give your 100% my wishes are with you god is with you i definitely tell you you are coming you will come up with the flying colors hello doctors a uh, very good evening to all of you i'm sure you're all very busy with your revisions right now and i don't want to take much of your time okay you know this is the time when we are all under pressure we are all under fear and that's all a natural human tendency okay please remember one thing you're never going to feel that you're ready for any exam as such okay we just have to take a leap of faith uh, we just have to take a leap of faith and then jump right into that okay so i'll just advise you a couple of things that you should remember and don't make this mistakes in the exam one being do not change your answers okay please don't change your first option whatever you might have chosen if you're doing that you are most of the time shifting your answer to the incorrect one okay and don't talk to anybody in the lunch break like how their paper went etc you can do that after the exam if you want to because that might demotivate you even though you might have done it correctly all right so cup these are one or two things i want you to keep in mind and don't repeat this okay so this is the high time i just want to wish you all very that all the very best please take you know water etc all those things which are required and you should be all okay okay the time has come and have faith you're all going to do well all the best everybody hello friends i could feel your palpitation anxiety apprehension rising pulse rate respiratory rate from my heart although i am not close to you but still from my heart i can feel all these things aur agar aap mujhse poocho so if you are having all these symptoms it means your studies is absent because this is a normal human phenomenon this is happening with each and every student who is appearing in this exam jaise kehte hai na more study more confusion no study no confusion if you are not having these symptoms it means you have not studied at all you are not bothered but if you are having these symptoms it means you have studied quite a lot so friends this is a time to be calm confident believe in your heart work believe in the blessings of your parents your friends and your loved one i know that you are working hard day and night for past few months and now the time has come to give your not only 100% but your 200% in the coming examination and i am very sure that you will give your best performance in the exam but friends here i just want to highlight few important points which you should always keep in your mind while appearing in the examination that please read the question very carefully whether they are asking all or except this is a very common uh, point where we make the mistakes whether they are asking all are true or all are false or which one is true which one is false because if they had given you true and you are thinking about the false you may be wrong so be very careful second important point is that time management is very very important sometimes you might be getting the lengthy questions and if you are not able to answer in the given time please skip that question and go ahead 
don't waste too much time in a single question because if you are wasting too much time in the beginning you may be little bit upset in the middle or towards the end and that may affect your performance so time management is very very important and third point don't forget to take the important documents which you already know and fourth point is reach the examination center at least 2 hours before the scheduled time because the time will be required for all the process to get entry into the examination hall and fifth is have a sound sleep day before the examination now sound sleep this doesn't mean that you are in bed for 10 hours 12 hours even a 6 hours sound sleep is quite enough because that will reset your brain and you are appearing in the examination with fresh mind that is very very important to correlate the clinical situations so with these words i could say only the one thing that just ready to put your key of hard work in the locker and let the god to apply the second key of your luck to open that locker where already your success certificate is ready and we all are waiting for you at the finishing line with a warm welcome and we are very sure that you will come out with flying colors with these words wishing you all the very best hello friends uh, dr rajiv dabaner your ent faculty i'm here to wish you good luck for your upcoming exam on 18th of june it's a very important exam in your life i do understand that but couple of things i would like to remind you that you may be feeling that you are not perfectly prepared for the exam but let me inform you that there is no one who can claim that i know everything about everything in medical science and you should also tell it to yourself okay except that i do not know everything about everything but i know sufficient enough to pass the exam the only thing is on the exam day i would not be anxious looking at the unknown questions because i would keep reminding myself that i need to score only half of the question out of these 300 questions to pass the exam so be a fighter keep fighting till the time you submit the 300 question do not anticipate the negative result keep you know morale very very high and avoid you know silly mistakes which we generally do in the question which we know for that you have to read the question and the choices carefully think about it and then answer it and do not change your answer again and again okay thank you very much you have done a lot of hard work you must congratulate yourself and you you tell yourself that you deserve to pass the most important thing is you deserve to pass howsoever inadequate imperfect the preparation may be you also know in your heart that you have really done a lot of hard work and there is, should be a voice echoing within you that i deserve to pass and lot of your family member especially your parents your siblings your friends and we people are praying for your success okay so do wonderful on the exam day stay absolutely positive charged up on the exam day and may god bless your hard work thank you very much you know we'll be again connected after exam results are out okay bye bye take care hello my dear friends i am anuradha here and i wish you all the best for the upcoming exam so finally the day has come closer for which we have been preparing and it's really natural to feel little anxious little fearful also but at this moment i would like you to remind you that you have done lot of hard work so far and have faith have full faith in your hard work have full trust in yourself because this is the time when we have to apply what we have learned with a very clear mind okay so as far as ophthalmology is concerned we have seen in the past exams the questions they have been more clinical and we have based upon our classes during our classes we have done all the topics in that way 
We have done test and discussions. So my last minute tips to you should be that go through the images which we have done, which I told you are important for you. Go through the TND section and just don't fear the exam. It, I know it's very easy to say that and difficult to apply that, but a fearful mind makes you forget what you know. But a confident mind helps you to apply the knowledge which you already know. So I am very sure that God is going to bless your hard work and may God be with you and all of you come out with flying colors. My best wishes to you, my friend, once again. So guys, finally, the big day is going to come. And I know that for to celebrate this big day, you have prepared for months and months with your hard work and also for your smart work. Now, it's the time not to get stressed out. The questions may be difficult, but with this preparation, the kind of hard work you have done, the kind of dedication you have done, I am pretty sure that you are going to knock him out. So don't worry, stay calm, stay cool. God is with us, God is with you, and I am pretty sure you are going to rock the show. All the best. My dear doctors, the day has come when all your hard work, your great efforts of so many long years are going to be rewarded very soon. At this point of time, keep on believing in yourself, keep on believing in your hard work, keep on believing in the blessings of your parents, keep on believing in the blessings of your teachers, your elders and everyone. What you need to do is, in the exam, stay focused, single liner questions, don't be in a hurry, don't commit silly mistakes there in the small single liner questions. If there are lengthy questions, suppose there is a five, six, seven line question, try to read the last line of the question first, look at the options, then read the question and mark the correct answer. In the image based questions, look at the image first, look at the options, then look at the last line of the question and then the complete question and then mark the answer. Try to save your precious time in the single easy answers so that that time can be judiciously used in the lengthy questions. We know that your hard work is going to be rewarded. The entire team of MIST, all your faculties, everybody at MIST wish you all the very, very best for the upcoming 18th June 2021 FMG exam. Wish you all the very best. You are bound to succeed. Nobody can stop you. God bless you. Hello, my loving students. Mere pyare bacho. Exam ka din aagya. The day has come. Zada vakt nahi lunga. Won't take much of the time. Just want to say this thing. On examination day. You will enter examination hall. Of course, you all have to get a COVID test report. You all might have done it. Then check your admit cards properly. All tickets. I have seen many students. They are struggling at 7 o'clock in the morning on exam day. They don't have a copy. Just keep two copies of admit card. Get a COVID-19 report for the proper report. And you will enter examination hall. And if you need to reach if you need to travel some 100 kilometer distance or more than that, try to reach there an evening before and settle there, acclimatize yourself. Try to, try to adjust your clock according to examination day. Have similar food, something like that. And all of you have to study, acclimatize yourself according to that day, like you will be solving some MCQs, you will be studying between 9 to 11.30 in the morning and 2 to 4.30 in the evening. And in the afternoon, try to have some light snacks tomorrow, day after. Fine. And try to study with your notes as you will be doing on that examination day. And a question will flash on your computer screen. And if you are stuck at that question, immediately try to have a record. Where were you at that time? What were you doing at particular time when sir or ma'am were teaching that particular topic? Suppose a question will flash on your computer screen. 
she is a hypertensive lady she starts complaining of sudden pain in abdomen and uh, some bleeding pv fetal heart sound is not audible why not audible because abdomen is hard and tender uterus is hard and tender it may be a case of abduction placenta and if fundal height is more than period of amenorrhea could be a case of concealed hemorrhage something like that most common cause of death in obstetrics is postpartum hemorrhage most common cause of shock immediately after delivery is uterine inversion most common cause of shock after delivery is postpartum hemorrhage most common cause of unexplained shock after delivery is amniotic fluid embolism something like that a 23 year old girl presents with acne hirsutism oligomenorrhea polycystic ovarian syndrome and if she presents with sudden onset of these symptoms and she is having atrophy of breast or platyromegaly or hoarseness of voice or altered masculine body contour it is not polycystic ovarian syndrome it is androgen secreting ovarian tumor so this is how we have to crack our answers beta we have to eliminate the thing so how will you do that immediately if you are stuck and if you have a confusion between the two options at your computer screen immediately try to have a recall from examination hall yes 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 i was there i was sitting there and uh, i was doing this my mom, mom was uh, preparing something she made some poha and called me uh, please have your poha have your tea have your coffee i have made this and at that time when you were just holding the cup of tea and uh, amit sir was teaching abruptio placenti this is the case of abruptio placenti and the management in abruptio placenti is induction of labor as soon as it is diagnosed because of risk of disseminated intravascular coagulation and at the word when amit sir was speaking disseminated intravascular coagulation you are holding a cup of tea so so that cup of tea think that abruptio placenti with that cup of tea or you might be wearing a green shirt or a blue shirt or a black shirt or shorts or trouser and i'm sir was teaching some uh, vaginitis trichomonal vaginitis oh strawberry vagina oh yes angry looking vagina or colpitis macularis yes, yes 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 and 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 you were just changing because you were at home you might be having shower and uh, you might be having your ipad in your washroom oh uh, and you are having shower and amit sir was teaching pelvic inflammatory disease this is a cock wheel sign like a spokes of a wheel oh but the laparoscopy picture is fixed sir cut is syndrome these fibrous bands so, so try to think these things don't, don't be afraid in examination hall just be cool if you are stuck at the question come back to your room where were you at that time and you will definitely get your answer through this 16th lane golden highway which we have built at this time right now you must be you must be thinking that i don't remember anything i tend to forget everything i'm sorry saying this this this, this but, but i don't remember i don't remember it happens with everyone beta it is quite normal nobody remembers at the start it is all jumbled up 19 subjects you know you are going to face the toughest exam conducted in the world one of the toughest examination so just don't be afraid just be cool and on that day what you have to do in the afternoon after completion of first paper you will never discuss anything about the first paper during the break have some light snacks and try to revise your notes only fine and try to acclimatize your clock according to examination day in one or two days now try to solve mcqs between 9 to 11:30 and 2 to 4:30 and during the break time between 2 to 4 even at your home try to study some notes acclimatize your clock accordingly won't take much of the time wish you all the best from bottom of my heart you will rock on that day for dena beta jump se for dena and on 18th of june in the evening maza aa jayega we will rock abhi yaad nahi aa raha kuch abhi kuch nahi pata you don't remember anything you don't remember but on 18th evening you will say yeah sir this was that this was given this was given we have done this we are done all the best wish you all the very best thod ke aana maza kar dena hello to all the students um, from dr akshay i am your faculty of orthopedics i want to wish all of you the very best for your examinations i am sure all of you have worked hard and mr stott you well be confident be patient sleep well before your examinations and from my uh, entire team of mist we wish you all the best i know all of you will do very very well do not get panicked do not get confused stay safe stay calm all of you will do very very well so all the best from my side for examinations thank you hello mistians all the very best for your fmg exam believe in yourself be confident 
रीड यूर क्वेश्चन थॉरोली केयरफुली बिफोर मार्किंग और चूजिंग यूर आंसर एंड आई होप दैट ऑल हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट विल डेफिनेटली क्लियर देयर एफ एम जी एग्जाम बट दिस इज नॉट द एंड इवन इफ यू नॉट एबल टू क्लियर यूर एफ एम जी एग्जाम वी हैव अनादर चांस सिक्स मंथस लेटर सो बट बिलीव इन यूर सेल्फ हैव फेथ इन गॉड faith in yourself your preparation and i hope that you all will clear your fmg exam and you will be the upcoming good great doctor of india all the very best hi guys uh, dr samir this side i just wanted you to wish a very best of luck for your examinations on this 18th and i know all of you have prepared and given your whole heart for this examination and you will all be able to clear this examination if you just be focused as you are right now till the time you give your last question right i just want to tell you few points that just don't indulge with the, your friends or with anybody else during the course of examination don't try to discuss any of the questions don't try to demoralize yourself and your friends i know there will be enough questions which you will be knowing and that will get you over the line just try to finish off with the questions which you know very well at the first time then you give the time to the questions in which you are dicey and you might not know the answers to those questions but i'm sure there will be many questions of which you will be knowing the answers and which will get you over the line secondly just be focused as you are right now don't panic during the examination don't panic at all during the examination and stay focused all the time i know you all have given everything during this pandemic and we have been seeing your abilities and the time you have given for your this examination so just for the last few days just be focused try to do as much questions as you can and just don't lose your confidence right guys and i am sure that all of you will be able to raise your bar with this examination and we will meet after the happy ending of this examination all right guys thank you bye bye